Hi, I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson. I'm an astrophysicist with the American Museum of Natural History, and I'm host of Star Talk Radio. Welcome back to Star Talk Radio. <laughs> and it's fighting all these air molecules. Like, what's up with that? We win. Astrophysicists win. Oh! Yeah, I said it. Snap! Bada bing! Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah! I'm getting it! The sun is not just a glowing ball of gas. It's a turbulent, active, churning, convecting place. And let's say you're making oatmeal in the morning, and you put a little too many oats in your boiling water. Keep the flame up high, it gurgles violently, and the oatmeal is spurting, sputtering on the stove top. That's what the sun is doing. And occasionally, one of these spurts, the sun is made of a charged gas. We call it a plasma in, in physics. The vernacular. And this charged gas breaks free of the surface, it spews out into space, sends a blob of plasma across interplanetary space, and occasionally one of those heads towards Earth. You don't want to be in space when that happens because it can sort of ionize your atoms in your body and interfere with the functioning of your DNA. That would be bad. So we're protected here on Earth because we have a nice safe magnetic field that deflects these charged particles. They collide with the atmosphere, renders the air aglow, and it is the source of the aurora borealis and the aurora australis, the northern and southern lights. So those are otherwise dangerous particles from the sun rendered harmless and rendered beautiful. If you have a large enough solar flare, it won't all get directed to the pole. Some of it can get all the way through and it can disrupt our electrical grids. It changes the current that moves, moves through. It boosts it in some areas, reduces it in others, and you can override the transformers at certain electrical checkpoints. That's happened before, it could happen again. More important than that is we have electrically run satellites orbiting Earth. They are susceptible to solar flares. So the more we put up in space, the more at risk our communication, our space-based technology is. So the future of that is what we call radiation-hardened electronics that can survive these blasts from the sun. But the sun has been doing it forever. Nothing new happening now. We, we're still here. We're just fine. Now we can monitor them. We have great images of solar flares because we have satellites looking at the sun 24-7. So the media will be reporting on more solar flares today than it ever did before because now we have great images of them. But there are people who are thinking, the sun is becoming more active. No, no, we're just getting better data. It's a difference. So chillax on that one. <laughs>